Laser. Go right. smirk. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Mind of Thrones. This series where I take you guys into my head and talk through a full live raw game of John Madden football. This series is a bit more unedited. It's more about me talking. It's more about my adjustments, what I'm thinking throughout an entire Madden game. This video is also sponsored by Manscaped. Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring the channel once again, but we'll hear more about them later in the video. Now, obviously, I just put out an ebook on Strong Close. I link it like every single video, you know, 49ers ebook, code 49ers on hotrot.tips. It's linked in the description. I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of DMs, a lot of comments about this is now the the meta the strong close offense is now the meta in weekend league head to head seasons even regs head to head so today i have two games against people running strong close the second one is against on duke he's a better player you're going to see him in the top of the weekend league leaderboards every single weekend hopefully you guys are able to take away something from these gameplays against strong close you know to give you a little bit of perspective of what i'm thinking facing my own offense you know embrace the meta guys always embrace the meta if you can figure out how to defend this formation you know you're going to be able to beat a lot of people in weekend league like an, an ebook is just like a cookbook it's going to give you the ingredients, the routes, what, what's good. But if you can't execute, then the ebook isn't going to be that good. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Uh, accuracy. You'll love to see it. We're going to flood. First thing about Inside the Mind, I always come in. I auto reorder my depth chart. Then I make a few changes in here just so I don't have to deal with it on the sub screen. If I have the time to do it, I'm always just going to do it right here in the actual depth chart. All right, I'm good. Against Strong Close, I like to have auto flip on off. It is always going to line up with the slot corner on the right side uh, when auto flips on if you're in zone. I don't know why it just does that against Strong Close. So I like to have it off. I'm just going to flip it based on which hash he's on. Ball in air, play ball, option defense, conservative, not that those matter. Then uh, slot corner for my package. I'm going to set a couple audibles with the left trigger. And then I'm going to basically come out in this corner blitz three every single time. I'm going to put a cloud. I'm going to put a hard flat and we're going to mess with this. Okay. This is our, this is our starting little, uh, our starting little, you know, base defense, just cloud one hard flat on the side of the fullback. Want to try to take that away. And then now when he gets on a hash, like for instance, he should be a little bit closer to the right hash here. I'm not sure. I have one inside stuff, by the way. So he's going to have to double team him every single play. It's just going to make blowing up the run easier for me, but like, ah, uh, no, he's still kind of middle of the field. I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, I will. I'll man up a DN on the halfback though from right here. Oh, and he's motioning over. Okay. Here comes a, a slant and a cross or a slant and a post, but he does throw and we're going to be able to tackle him and be third and short playing in strong close. So good. You really do have to respect the run game. You have to, which, you know, if I want to, I can come down like this right here and kind of just come through at a high percentage of the time. I have a hard flat over the, okay. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I manned him up. I manned him up. And Ricky Jackson just bagged him on the option route. I just got lucky right there. I just got lucky. Okay, fourth and one. Uh, I'm going to play hard flats again. I didn't like my user there. I kind of fell asleep. I'm going to expect him to go to, you know, tight end, tight end post and a motion over slant. I have a bunch of yellow zones on the field and it's bagged and it's bagged and we take it for seven and we take it for seven and we pitch it. Get out. Let's go, Sneed. He didn't go to a tight end post. Is that a tight end like in route right there? But either way, uh, you know, getting more yellow zones out there. When I see that motion over on a fourth down, I know he's probably going to his best play. It's going to be the post with the motion slant. Uh, one of the best plays in strong close. Now, I will say when I'm playing against somebody online who's running strong close, I'm going to make them try to bomb my cover three. A lot of people, if you come out in cover three, will just try to bomb cover three. He didn't go for it, uh, but there's, there's a decent cover three beater out of strong close. But I will say in Madden 21, it is hard to be able to take the top off the defense on old gen. On old gen, it's hard to. You need to get really good pocket. You need to be able to get the time. You need to be able to not, you know, or be careful of throwing out of a sack. A lot of the time people are just going to throw out of sack. Um, you know, and you need to time the throw also. It is kind of a hard window to be able to throw that. But here we go. First and 10 again. Same thing. Um, I'm going to put a cloud or a curl flat and a hard flat on the right side. I don't love this. I'm actually just going to zone out. Uh, a vert hook right there with my right of screen defensive tack or defensive end this is going to be a similar thing right here and we just boxed him able to make him you know, delay the read enough with his user did he go for a cover three beater there i mean the, the tight ends on a smart route and in route he's not putting him on a post which i don't love i'd love to see that tight end on a post the post is much more difficult uh to lurk but for now we're good curl flat on the right side that's the side that the crosser could go to and i'm gonna put a hard flat on the left it's gonna be a motion can I? Oh, okay, okay. Good little, good little laser up the seam. He noticed. I'm taking. I'm trying to take away the whole middle of the field. I like it. I do like it. Okay, we just gotta be able to blow up this run here, though. Gotta be able to blow up this run. Hard flats. I respect this play call. Audible, do a little power. We're able to blow it up. Fourth and short now. Fourth and short. Get off the field early. Get off the field early here. I would respect the heck out of this if he went to Anthony Sherman. If he went to the fat 
Anthony Sherman just said, you know what? Pa put, put your head down, go get the first. But he's going to punt. He wants to play defense. He hasn't played defense yet. So I, that's fine. He is kind of struggling to move the ball. But, um, you know, he's had things open. He has uh, on certain plays. So I would like to see him go for that there. But it's fine. Uh, I actually did already set a couple of my subs in the depth chart screen. So I'm just going to set a couple audibles with left trigger and we're basically good i'm curious to see how he will defend strong close now this is where like an ebook it's not going to be automatic wins it's kind of like a cookbook it's going to give you the recipe to be able to win you know the things that you're supposed to do but if you can't go out there and execute and throw to the right people like right here i'm just going to check down on my wheel route i might have had other stuff but the wheel route's so open it's going to be like you know nine yards right there probably second in inches this is a perfect time to take a shot this is a great time to take a shot honestly so it's it, it is up to you or you still have to make the right decisions put the right plays in the field you just have to execute. This is going to be a TD. Yeah. See, notice that it, it's just, it is a, li a little bit of a hard window. He didn't suck down as much as I wanted to, but I was fair, fairly certain that was still a third and I was able to throw it over it. Um, normally they'll go out or back, come back up to bite on the corner out and then they'll go back to the end zone and, and take away the beater. But there we get time. I'd look for him to try to go for a cover three beater at least. You know, they have a really good one in strong close. So I'm, cur I'm curious to see where he's going to go. Again, a lot of strong close users out there. Accurate kick. Once again, a lot of strong close users. Take a little bit of what I'm saying. You need to be flatting the running backs or the fullback side every single time. If they have the tight end on the short side of the field, you need to be manning up that solo side halfback. That's the easiest way, or sorry, the, the sorry, the straight away, the, the straight behind halfback. That's the easiest way to take, um, to take away like a halfback wheel. So like right here, pretty sure the wheel would go to the, to the, uh, to the left side, regardless. Ah, I'm going to put a vert hook out and I'm just going to keep my user blitzed. Keeps three people blitzing. He's for the most part bagged. I'm going to take Taylor Mays. Ah, uh, good read. Good read. Oh, oh my gosh. He just got so cheated. He just got so cheated. I was going to say, I'm just going to take Taylor Mace, click off. He's already on a blitz, so he's just going to go sprint to get the QB. But I mean, I'll take some fluke. I'll take some fluke if I'm playing someone who's playing like me. I'll take I'll take a little bit of fluke. And I'm not even blitzing strong close right now. I'm not blitzing it at all. So like right here, for instance, I'm going to take away that halfback man up I had. Yeah, I'm basically just able to take away the whole field. Now he threw it underneath my vert hook, but um, he ne he needed a lot of time to do that. I might try to use a rush him right here. Why not? Should I try to use a rush him? That's mean. That's mean. I'm not gonna. I blitzed him though. I didn't have any. Ah, good read. I didn't have a flat on the right side. Normally, I'd like to have a flat out there. That was just kind of bad defense. I, I was like, I'll just regularly blitz him, but we didn't get any pressure. Good, good play. Good read. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring the channel once again. Now, if you somehow haven't heard of Manscaped, they're the world's first all-in-one men's brand dedicated to below-the-waist grooming and hygiene. And with it being December, the holidays are just around the corner, and they sent me the perfect Christmas present this year, the performance package by Manscaped. Let's check it out. First off, it's my favorite product of theirs, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless and water waterproof you can use it in the shower just like i do it has advanced skin safe technology an led light and it's quiet and discreet then you have their crop reviver which is ball toner and their crop preserver which is anti-chafing ball deodorant guys i say it every single ad read you put deodorant under your armpits so why wouldn't you use deodorant on the smelliest part of your body then you have the weed whacker this is their ear and nose hair trimmer i thankfully don't get many ear hairs but i get pesky nose hairs all the time and this takes care of them their performance package also comes with the shears 2.0 it's a six-piece stainless nail kit that comes with these nail clippers right here these have been far and away the best nail clippers i've ever used and when you order now you're gonna get two free gifts the shed travel bag plus their manscape boxer brief so guys don't put off your last minute holiday shopping for any longer head over to manscape.com slash throne for 20 percent off plus free shipping plus the two free gifts again that's manscape.com slash throne for a 20 percent discount the two free gifts and free international shipping thank you so much to manscape for sponsoring the channel once again Let's get right back into the video. I mean, I will, I'll continue to say, I don't know if he has 10 end apprentice on Tony Gonzalez. Uh, if he doesn't, it's a little bit confusing. The tight end on a post would be a lot harder to defend, but he must like the smart route and in route a little bit better. Does he? He does have tight end apprentice. Yeah, no, he just, oh, he's running. He, he's running. He clicked on his own line. We'll see if he audibles. That, that might be an audible. I think those are hot routes though. I think those are hot routes. I'm run committing. <gasps> he passed. Thank God. Thank God I ran straight back. No, he dumbed him out. He didn't take for seven. I'm the dumbest Madden player on the planet. I'm the dumbest Madden player on the planet. I thought those were hot routes when he was starting to go touching his helmet to the left and right. I thought they were hot routes. I thought he was just running the ball. I thought he, I was like, oh, he showed his hand. He's running. I'm stupid. I just got completely outplayed. I should have clicked on earlier too to make a tackle and said he just dumbed the CPU out. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. What would an inside the mind be without an inside losing my mind moment though? So it's fine. We'll just be back on offense. We're going to go get seven. Oh, I really wanted to give up zero points in this episode to strong close. I really did. Oof, duh. I don't know. On what? Like eight yard line? Nine yard line? All right. Let's see what we can do. I mean, if he's just going to telegraph his, his cover three like this, I will gladly 
run a cover three beater again which i i don't yeah yeah cover three and i don't think he's gonna deep half maybe he will though we gotta keep an eye out for it always gotta keep an eye out for a deep half that ain't no deep half i didn't get time it's gonna be a throw out of sack pick six that's exactly what i'm talking about where it gets difficult it is very hard okay we gotta hold the door we gotta hold the door wow i just had this game fully in my hands and now i'm in a tight game geez it gets very difficult to throw over the top of defenses like right there like i obviously have him open downfield and a long wind up and you know throw out a sack right into a flat but it's fine i'm gonna play Ooh, interesting play hard flats on both sides I don't like that spacing right there. He couldn't have really thrown to either of them. Like I could have lurked both those guys. He had a post going right into a curl. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. No mid read, just two vert hooks. Hopefully they take care of the, the in route. I did have a hard flat on that side and he was still able to throw a drag. Maybe, no, 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 I didn't. I manned up the halfback. That's what it was. I took it off at the last second. He's going back to strong close again. I still have this inside stuff. I'll use it in the mid read. He's out of the eye form close. I'm gonna try to come through. Yeah, I did. I came right through. I know how to shoot that gap right there against like uh, like dive and stretch. It can be a little bit, you know, hairy against power, but basically if you stand in that spot, you can come right through with a fast enough DB. Okay. Thank God didn't give up seven. That would have, this game would have gotten like tight, man. Oh my gosh. Wow. I should probably take more time on the offensive side of the ball, but he gave me the, he gave me the bomb and, and kind of like I said, it is really hard to throw that. It just is. If you don't get quite enough time, you can throw out a sack right into a pick and that was like an easy pick. It probably could have been a pick six. I got a little bit lucky that it wasn't. We will be fine though. We will be fine. We're still at four and it's our ball at half. So we can go get seven. Put the game away. Nice little inside the mine. Take, you know, take care of the clock right here. He has three timeouts. I do as well. Shouldn't have to worry about fatigue way too much. We should be good. But I'm just curious if he's going to sit in cover three still. I'm going to guess this is cover three still. I'm not going to go try to take it off. Take off the top though. I'll run something. I, I'm curious to see his zone drops. I haven't really checked him out yet, to be honest. Let's see what, it, let's see where his zones are sitting right now. Ah, like stock distance. Nice little laser to Tyreek Hill. Don't need to clear out on that crosser. It's a nasty crosser. Interesting. Okay, he's changing his defense. And he's using a slot corner. Okay, I'm going to motion over a slant here. I haven't I haven't done that yet. Motion over a slant with the post. This is kind of the bread, bread and butter like money play. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to user rush me. Okay, you want me to you want me to block people. You want to want to run cover zero. Okay, he came up and engaged right there. He didn't come through, but that's fair okay you can send heat at strong close if you want to i personally don't um i don't play very good defense this year when i am sending heat so i just kind of stay away from doing it but i'm a little bit worried about going for this again throw it up to bow probably get a better pass lead I i'm stupid i passed that a little bit too far outside i was a little bit afraid of him lurking down and, and getting close to making a play on that you know if i get a better pass that i can just rack that and take it for a first down i have threat detector i can tell he's in cover three cl uh cloud right now very obviously his outside corner is blitzing to start the play throw a nice little curl i even can rack it i got so much space there i don't really need to possession it if i if i drop that i get very unlucky and i didn't feel like throwing the table route right there i just want to make sure i got the first i knew right when i saw that play that curl route was going to be open curious how mesh post is going to work against this go to a little mesh post here a little man coverage take our tight end right away the second i see man snap throw that tight end it's usually going to be open I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just starts mixing in some man here you know, zone has been giving him uh <laughs> he hasn't he hasn't done a great job out of zone he's not really uh i don't think this is man okay well random man beater for the zone but i was gonna be open running back wheel route it's a big reason why when i say if you're facing it or if you're facing me he basically needs to be manned up every single time now probably should have called a timeout and not taken so much time with this play call but See, his zone drops there, but like I'm still going to be able to throw this. I'm going to call a timeout. Okay, we have a few shots here. Two timeouts, four yard line. What is the play call? What is the play call? Oh, boy. Is he going to switch to man? If he switches to man, I should be able to throw a TD right here. But I mean, I guess it could be a pick six if I screw up. So he does have two inside stuffs. I didn't even look at that. So. A nice little laser. Running back wheel route again. We've been abusing it. Bo Jackson on a wheel route. He has like 60 some catching, but he's not going to drop the ball. Running backs don't drop the ball in this Madden. That's why people put him out wide. Route running doesn't matter at a certain point. Uh, like unless, you know, obviously for facing man, they'll get better cuts uh, against man. But like for the most part, route running doesn't matter unless they're facing man. So like you can put a running back out wide. They're still going to catch everything. Um, and then you can audible down to other sets. That's what's going to happen when you face like the really good players that are on trips or on bunch. 
instead of running like a typical 11 personnel, they'll sub a running back out wide and audible down to the I form closes. And you can go down to like a strong close from a trips hit end if you want in Raiders. So um, big reason why people put running backs out wide. They don't have to face like, you know, dime one four, big dime one four six or two, three, six Sam or whatever. I just ranted for a really long time about something. I'm just saying running backs are really good at catching the ball. Okay. They're, they're very good receivers in Madden 21. That's what I mean. That's more justifying. That's why people do those things. Big mistake. A lot of people in a situation like this will come out and like three man deep or something. He's in strong close. I would get weak boxed, which is kind of what I was talking about just a second ago about uh why people put running backs out wide when they face one four six you get a weak box if you have uh certain personnel on offense and strong close has two running backs and a tight end we we're not able to blow this up but like for instance if he gets to that second level and i'm in man up three deep or prevent my safeties turn into just they're running in molasses like they're running with with sand in their pockets it is bad 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 so i try to be careful always come out in like a big nickel over g if he has some sort of cute about cute bomb like i'm just gonna deep half like this you know I, I i shouldn't get bombed in this defense right here i should be relatively safe but All right, and that's gonna be the half. Right, we had a really good drive last drive, like like a really good one. It was just we had the, we had the one the one messy one. So hopefully we can go out, just go get an easy seven here. Should I do it? Should I go for another cover three beater? I'm a little bit terrified to do it. Like I could definitely just give him the ball back if I if I screw this up. But whatever, we'll do it. I'm even gonna double team this right side just in case he has a contain. There we go. Okay, we should have plenty of time this time. There we go. Little 99 throw power to Terry McLaurin. Click on, click on, click on. I'm going to make a miss. I'm going to make a miss. Never mind. Touchdown. That was a bit more what I was talking about on the first cover three beater that didn't happen, but this one it did, where the corner comes up to play the, the corner, the tight end corner out, and then he like ducks back for a half second and then comes back down. And that's right when I throw it. I try to hit it right in that window. Once I see, oh, that's not a deep half. It's a third. I can throw right over it. Um, you know, take the top off the defense and of course that one i actually got time i didn't throw out a sack for for a almost pick six all right one stop this should be ggs one one stop one stop no hard flat on the right side it's the first time i kind of haven't flatted him and it's covered he had the flat he could have thrown the flat hmm. but it was the first time i haven't taken away that fullback like for the most part that fullback's been taken away all game i've had a hard flat right there so oh man interesting okay i didn't I didn't think it was going to be man. See, I'm just going to take my check down. In strong close, I'm going to take my check down every single time. Every single time. 11 for 12, 266, three TDs and, a and an INT. I threw that freaking pick. Is it going to be man? It's not. I guess I had my right bumper. Oh, pitch it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. That would have been the touchdown of the year. It would have been the, it would have been the TD of the year. He hasn't manned up the halfback, and he, he hasn't really gone out to cover it yet. So I'm curious to see how he gave me the... No, his acrobat dove in front of it. Oh no, I had such a such a dot for that stinks. I'm gonna try manning up my uh my DN on the tight end right here. I wanna see if he'll bag an in route. He's been on the option route. I didn't have the uh, stunt for a second. When you're on conservative right there, you need to stunt for a half second. It'll take you off conservative when you're on defense. See that? How uh, Taylor Mays was running really slow, covering the hand with uh, the ball with both hands. If you stunt for just a half second, you'll be able to do all the ball carrying moves. You'll get back to full speed. Yeah, I've manned up the halfback like literally all game and that play. You know, I just had to go lurk him because I manned up my, my DN on the tight end. I'm going to quit this game though. It's GG's. I want to get into another. So GG's to Venmo. GG's. All right, game two. On Duke message me. On Duke is a, a really good Madden player. I've played him a few times. He's, he's pretty darn tough. Tough. and he said he runs strong close so i'm curious to see how we're going to be able to defend him uh, i want to see how different his is than mine i i don't think he's necessarily an ebook user but he's a he's a pretty darn good madden player i, I bet he's going to user rush me um i bet i bet he's going to have some uh some cute stuff that you know i haven't seen before so i'm i, I hey i might even steal a dot from him uh if uh if he shows me on this game I, i'm curious to see what he's doing still curl flats 25 i'll change him if we have to but it's hard auto auto flip off assuming he's in strong close slot corner package it's one of those games again where i, I i'm probably gonna have to deep half every single time i'm gonna deep half that left side every time he's probably audibling to stretch here yeah 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 Good tackle, good tackle, Sneeds. Maybe I don't have a clue. Maybe I don't have a clue. That tight end corner or post is gonna be open. Oh my gosh, did he just get cheated? What happened? Did I run into somebody? What what's the what's the play call? Illegal downfield? Oh, we declined those. He just got cheated the piss out of. No way. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna accept that. That that would that would be freaking cheating. But oh, okay, so this is just high from close right here. It's probably gonna be power, if I had to guess. Halfback power. We blew it up. Nice job. If we can take care of power whenever he audibles to I form close, we're probably gonna be fine. But I'm gonna keep putting or keep me in and up uh my halfback or hand, manning up the halfback 
I'm not gonna get to this dang it good play shoot I don't have his own drop out there I probably need to I probably need his own drop that every time he's gonna go to that crosser over and over again okay we'll be fine that's just bad defense this is bad defense by me this is what happens though when you're so concerned about the run yep I'm, I'm grabbing Jackson coming down good play Taylor Taylor Mays I, I tried to dive he didn't dive I clicked X he just didn't go after him but it's fine this is the defense this is it this is what I want the only th ah he might motion over slant and I'm gonna have to lurk both no nope. we're perfect we're perfect we're perfect defensively we're perfect defensively click on I was spamming B to try to get it to click on to Sneed so I can make a play on that and I, I couldn't quite do it but it's fine let's cross man so I should be good it's open TD oh 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 wow I'm not sending anybody yet all right that was perfect that was perfect I didn't send anybody I just want to make sure that I had my zones back there bag him we need to hold him to three here we need to hold him to three if he wants to take off with with freaking was it Brett Favre he can go ahead he can take off with Brett Favre that's fine he definitely had a dot for a TD there though he, he completely missed it he's gonna run the ball here I mean I respect it if he does I guess wow really really a second and 16 stretch really I right, just don't get dotted right here don't get dotted we're good it should be D this should be D He has nothing all right we held him to three that's good we held him to three I mean he, it looked like he was just gonna march down and get seven so to hold him to three right there's not bad I'm curious to see what he has on defense I mean I might start running the ball a lot if if it's if he comes out he starts user rushing me or if I can't if I can't pick up his user rush rather or if he's you know mixing in how many he's sending out a big nickel I might just start running the ball on first and second and just have threat detector on third and fourth and pass you know you guys know how highly I think of threat detector threat detector is like the best ability in the game other than gunslinger all right don't take it with Tyreek don't want him to be tired we're gonna be in the middle of the field which stinks I'd love to be on a hash but we'll be a, we'll be fine we're gonna go ball carrier conservative for now just in case he is gonna be a user rushing demon let's get after it let's do it probably should have set my iPhone close audibles too to be honest because I think I'm gonna be audible to it a lot this game unless he just sucks on defense then then I won't so I'm, I'm taking this game relatively seriously like it, it should be a good game so oh nickel double a gap interesting interesting hold up it, it just should be a touchdown it just should be a TD I know it's McLaurin but I blocked everybody yeah I get a rack egg unfortunately I didn't actually burn him he has uh, like many one step ahead I'm assuming three I didn't even really look yeah no I mean normally that's a TD but I also got a little bit scared I, I was standing in that pocket versus a heavy rush and I blocked eight so I was just kind of just staring at the route praying like please get open McLaurin should get open here McLaurin should get open here but right on the break and the one step plays it okay I might need to lowball that dang is that really already the the quarter interesting okay okay I'm on the 38 a sack would be just just terrible to take right now absolutely terrible I'm a little bit worried I'm actually gonna take one right here I think I might mm, I'm very worried I'm very very worried right now I'm very worried please get time good job all right we got plenty of time I'm just blocking two right there oh and my slant beat man thank gosh sometimes they don't so dude I, I'm getting worried I'm getting worried on a play like that All right, Bo was wide open. I might have had other people, but I, I noticed my wheel route. Just gonna take it when I get it. All right, obviously can't run this clock all the way down. I'm gonna quick snap right here. I'm gonna quick snap the best I can. Just motion out, mesh post. Right here, I haven't run this play yet. I definitely had things and people. My player's probably gonna be really tired too. I probably should have thrown my tight end drag right away. He might not have been the world's most open, but like I've been kind of preaching that. Like if you have the tight end drag, or sorry, if you see man, throw the freaking tight end drag. I saw me in I didn't throw it because I'm an idiot McLaurin's really tired I almost want to go to I almost want to call timeout on a play like this but I can't good news is we'll be able to see who's blitzing so oh oh he's not blitzing oh this is beautiful oh this is beautiful oh this is beautiful laser 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 get in McLaurin get in get in buddy get in get in let's go he just had a hard flat over there didn't or something weird something weird happened over there it was just wide open uh you know motioning over screws up when, when you can't you come out in a man line play like come out in man defense you start putting zones in the field sometimes they'll do weird things when you motion over and that's clearly what happened like he must have had something over there and it just went away when I motioned over so thank God we kind of glitched him I'll take I'll take seven though that's beautiful honestly we would have ran just stock man I'm terrified to face the send six stock man right now I think it could bag me I think it really could we've called the right play a few times we've picked up the pressure when we've needed to and we just need to get a stop here ah, okay this is gonna be stretched to the right 
No, 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 no. Take his head off, dude. I dove. I literally dove, and my guy just actually just plopped to the ground. Just He just, he actually just played dead. I didn't. Good play. I didn't have very good defense up right there. Uh, I changed my defense at the last second. I had, like, nobody manned up that I wanted to be something like this. This this is the defense that I want, honestly. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out another vert hook, too, just in case. Should be bagged. Scream, come on, come on, come on. I need a sack. Don't let him throw out of it. If he's gonna throw out of it, let him throw out of it to me at my face. Let me get a pick. Give me my freaking rock. Curious to see how this defense is gonna work. Probably not very well. Oh, 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 I almost made an awesome play. Okay, I know we picked him. I don't know where he's throwing. Give me seven, give me seven, give me seven. That's my rock, that's my rock. Guys, if you would have thrown to the actually open player, I clicked onto Ricky Jackson and I swung him back and held Y. He almost threw it at my face. I almost picked him off for seven. I don't know about for seven, but I almost picked him off. I did pick him off for seven because he made the wrong read. I don't know where he was throwing right there. If you clicked the wrong button or what, but I'll take it. That's my rock, my rock. I feel like it's every year, every single year, uh, whenever I release an ebook, um, it starts to become meta online, especially in weekend league. So, you know, this the type of video, you know, hopefully you can take something away. You know, you're flat in the fullback side every single time. Maybe put a zone drop, curl flat on the short side, assuming they're running their tight end on the short side um, to take away that crosser. Like on a play like this, you defend like this pretty easily. Now we just got to hope that he makes the wrong read again, man. Screen, just, just clap him. Just, I mean, just take his head off. He's putting his half back on an option route or actually his fullback, which has been doing a pretty good job in all honesty. I don't like that. that that's me end up and he just kind of just just throws it at it and just catches it takes it for like 11 yards i don't like that that that, that, that frustrates me i'm gonna mix in a cover two right here i haven't Ooh, he just changed his personnel i haven't done any cover two at all so i'm curious to see okay that's an interesting outside zone call um i just showed i was in cover two i'm probably gonna come back to cover three there's just there's a good cover uh two bomb out of strong close actually no i'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna man him up like this. Just make sure that 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 wide receiver's manned up. So if he goes for Y trail, it's gonna be bagged. Crush him. No, don't dive over him. I mean take his head off. It's bagged, that's bagged, and he's out of field goal range right now. Now he's out of field goal range. Perfect. Doing a pretty good job on defense right now. Um I'm trying my best to describe what I'm doing, but sometimes it gets it gets hard. I have a feeling this running back option route is going to do a really good job of beating me right here. I think it's just going to just eat my ass, but we'll see. He's not in my trail. Everything's bagged. Probably could have thrown on a playmaker right there, but he's still out of field goal range. I, I, I'm, uh, we are outside. I don't know. I guarantee he has threat detector, so I can't blitz him here. I guarantee he has threat detector. All right. Good D. I'm going to call a timeout. It's probably going to take three. I probably shouldn't call a timeout right there, actually. It probably didn't make a difference, but... Oh, he's going for it? Oh, you crackhead. You shouldn't go for this. You should never go for this. You should never go for this. I user rushed him and I screamed. I screamed. I screwed up the user rush. I user rushed him. It was my first time user rushing all game. If you mix it in like that on a big down, oh, it'll it'll fluster someone right there. Like that, he's probably actually pretty darn mad after something like that. But um, to be honest, I mean, I just I hadn't really user rushed all game. I just kind of saved it for a time and I screwed it up too. So we almost got we almost got nasty. We're gonna throw out a sack for a pick six. We almost did. I almost threw out a sack for a pick six, man. Go. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. But I really want a touchdown. I really, I really want to go for it all. Mix in a little, a little user rushki. A little user rushki. Come on, Tyreek. Come on, Tyreek. Come on, Tyreek. Sneak over top, Tyreek. <gasps> he let me. It's gonna be a pick six. It's gonna be a pick six. It's gonna be a pick six. This needs to be the biggest tackle of all time. I respect the pitch. I do, but it's gonna be seven for me. So. I will go out of bounds. Actually, I'll pitch it. It's just not my rightful seven. That's not my rightful seven points. So, all right, let's go have a good drive. Let's go have a good drive. Ah, oh, we had him beat too. We had him beat, but I threw out a sack. Oh, I didn't mean to bring this out, dude. I've been a good guy. I didn't take that seven. I declined the penalty early in the game. Like, you know, I've been a, I've been a great guy. I've been a great guy. Nobody can ever talk crap about me. I'm gonna put a tight end drag. 
Let's mess with this. Please pick this up. Please pick up the pressure. 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 Wide open. Wide open. Oh, excuse me. I will see you later. That's my long snapper. That's my freaking long snapper making you miss an open field. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude, on Duke, on Duke, on Duke. Oh boy. You might be my son. You actually might be. I'm talking too early. 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 I'm gonna make a bad read here. I just know it. I just know it. I'm gonna make a bad read. I'm gonna make a bad read. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. My guy's tired. He's tired. Oh my gosh. He had like two steps on him. Did I check my guy's stamina there? That couldn't have been good. You must have been exhausted. Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I talked too early. I did it. I admit it. Okay. I ran commit. Good tackle. Good tackle there. Whoever you are. Whoever. Darrell Revis. Good job. We have played good defense though. We played really good defense. Take the running back on an option right here. Take him on an option route. Take him on an option route. Ah, good read. Good read. I, I fell asleep with my lurk right there. That's my bad. Oh, wow. We got lucky. We blew that up. I didn't even play really good run defense right there. He went to power and like I didn't come through. I thought I was going to be screwed right there. Okay, I actually sent pressure right there. I actually sent five, and we came in really quickly. He had stuff. He's just, he's kind of missing it, to be honest. He's, he's kind of just missing things. Good read. Threat detector. Oh, that was a really good time to motion out that halfback or the fullback. Oh, I thought I could acrobat to that. I actually thought I lurked that really well. I thought I lurked it really well. Oh, no, I just fell behind it just a, just a little bit. Shoot. We can't run the stretch right. It's gonna be blown up. If you run stretch left, that's yeah, it's the only shot, but it's like weak side, so. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna deep half that side. I have a feeling he's gonna go for a cover three beater right here. It's not. I rock. What a weird game. What a weird game this has been. What a weird game. Oh, I put a hard flat out there. I put a hard flat out there and he just threw the flat right away and he got it. That's a good, actually a good time to run. But again, stretch. It's been nerfed since a few patches ago. Like you're gonna, you're gonna really struggle to gain yards just running stretch. Like you're really gonna struggle. Like right there, I just shed him right away. Um, he had the look. He had a good look for it, and you know, didn't really have a chance to gain much. So, I'm user rushing. Scream at him. Scream at him. You're gonna keep the play action. I'm gonna come right up the gut. I'm gonna come right up the gut eventually. I'm gonna come right up the gut and and just take your soul. I have no flat on the left side or, or on the right side rather. I'm a little bit oh okay we had him manned up so oh ooh, make a tackle make a tackle thank gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh that motion out fullback actually like screws me up it's like screwing up my defense I'm getting terrified fourth and 24 I'm curious to see what he would go to I wonder if I just like went to like a one four six and just kind of like if I just blitzed what would happen can you pick up one four six in this he motioned on a halfback I don't know if he can now That's a good job by the delay fade and just spamming it to send it out right away. But thankfully, I saw it. I mean, he would have gained. He would have gotten that probably if I didn't, you know, lurk it. So I really do need a TD. I need a TD, man. I need one. Excuse me. I will see. Oh, dang it! I thought I was gone. All right, I do have two INCs somehow. But I mean, I've played good offense, haven't I? Have I just really played way better defense this game? I guess I have. sent his spy why would you send him dude you gave me i should have been looking at it i could have thrown it right away dang it 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 don't get screamed at dude double a gap is hard to play against though it's really hard to play against good job tyreek good job good job good job all right one first down is ggs Laser. Little swervy, little swervy, little swervy, little swervy. That's not the normal play that I go do. That wasn't PA deep. That was smart routed. That was smart routed. It was PA deep cross, smart routed, motioned over. That was a very good job against man coverage right there. And, and for some reason, he didn't think I was going to that right there. I guess he didn't think I would try to take the top off. He probably played pretty aggressive defense. Which, I mean, he did. He had just had flat zones and man coverage. So like, mm, I, I get I get the play call. You got to get off the field. Maybe force a turnover. I respect it. Anduke is good though. You know, you watch, you watch, uh, watch weekend league. Watch where this guy ranks. He's going to be, he's going to be up there every week. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, this guy isn't good. This why this why ebooks aren't good. I don't think he's running an ebook. I think he's just running strong close. Like I don't think he's he's running my ebook. I think he's uh he's doing a lot of things on his own out of it. Now, I don't respect this if you run. I don't respect it. I don't respect it, dude. I don't respect it. I don't respect it. He's just trying to milk the clock. Actually, I do respect it, but still.
Why did my curl flat play so short? I set my curl flat zone drops, didn't I? No, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Thank God. Thank God. Good tackle. I'll just keep him in balance. Scream. No, game. What are you doing, game? What are you doing? He's going to win right here. Not win. He's going to score right here. Oh, he's going to try to drop a laser. No running back wheel route, so we're good. Oh, we screamed at him. Oh, my gosh. My guy just insta-shedded him for the game. GG's to my opponents, Cooper and Connor. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys go drop a follow on my Twitter and my Instagram. They're both linked in the description. Thrown underscore YT. I might tweet out or put a post on my IG story just asking who wants to play for future content just like this. Again, if you made it to the end of the video, the greatest way that you can support me is by hitting the subscribe button. Again, it's not a permanent choice. You can always unsub at any time, and it costs nothing. Play. We played we play pretty darn good on O without those two turnovers. That's it for this episode of Inside the Mind. I'll see you guys in the next one.